I just wanted to say quickly, you know, if you subscribe, that helps me. It doesn't help you. There's really almost nothing you get out of it. Um, there's no direct benefit for you that I can see for subscribing, except that you can get notified uh, of my videos if you click that bell. But you know what? It helps me. And isn't it a good idea to help others? That's something I try to do every single day. So if you could, subscribe. If you thought about subscribing, just go ahead and subscribe. If you know somebody who would subscribe, maybe they could subscribe. Tell them to subscribe or maybe subscribe yourself. Just hit, click that. There it is. That No, it's over there. Is it, click the button wherever it is and subscribe. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, I've been a little out of control the last couple of videos, and I apologize. But there's a real topic today. So today I thought I'd see, uh, let's just ask, will the Department of Justice uh, nail Donald Trump? Will the Department of Justice get him? Will they get him? I, you know, not now, not in 10 years, not in five minutes, whenever it is. Will the Department of Justice specifically, that's the federal government, will they get him? So I just thought it was a good idea to ask. I mean, um, we ask about so many things in our life. Is the is he going to like me? Will I meet the woman of my dreams? Um, am I going to win the lottery? Um, is my pain going to go away? But, you know, let's see about this. Is our Department of Justice going to do right by us? Just going to let the cards tell a story. Whatever it is, I'll just read the card, what it says, and we'll see what it tells us. Reasonable? Okay, let's do it. So these, this is another Los Scarabio deck. This is the Pre-Raphaelite Tarot. And I just loved uh, the, um, the way these, the artwork on these. And so um, uh, they'll work out. It's got a typical uh, instruction booklet. You know, you know, it's a little hard to read. It's in a couple different languages, I think. And um, the box is not much to talk about, but the cards are just really beautiful, you know. They uh, handle well, they got like a matte finish, and they go right to the edge of the cards, and they're very vivid and bright and interesting to look at, so I love these cards. And uh, sometimes you just need a deck like this for a reading like we're going to do. So it's a good way for everybody to kind of see what the cards look like, and uh, maybe it'll uh, make you decide if you want to get uh, some tarot cards, and you don't have to get just uh, some kind of cryptic thing, or I mean, they've got all kinds. Uh, that you can choose from. I'm amazed at this Los Scarabio and Caro Marchetti, um, the different uh, cards. It must be a, a card sweatshop they work out of there, to tell you the truth. Yeah, just a simple question. Will they get him? Will the Department of Justice, that's our federal government, will they get this guy? And um, we'll see. Maybe they won't, you know. So we'll just do a full Celtic cross. We'll see what the cards say about all that. And then uh, we'll uh, tuck that away and see what happens. Because uh, it might not happen to tomorrow. It might not happen in a month. It might not happen in a year. But will it happen? That's, that's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. So six cards. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. And when we sort these out, the signifier card for will the DOJ get him is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eight of pentacles, they're working on it. That's what this card is. Okay, so they're working on it. This is, uh, you know, working to perfect your craft. They're gathering the evidence. They're making it look as good as they can. They're working on it. The challenge to it. What's the challenge to it? Uh, the two of uh, wands, which is uh, planning, you know. So I suppose that would be getting it all mapped out in exactly the right way. Makes perfect sense to me. The base of that reading, then, is the Knight 
the pinnacles. So if, if the DOJ is the knight, they're the one fighting for our worth, for our value. Uh, that makes pretty good sense to me. So the Knight of Pentacles is the base of the whole thing. The past of this reading, then, is going to be the uh, Ace of Cups uh, with a dove, some peace. So um, the past of this reading says let's bring some compassion into this very emotional situation and let's strive for some sort of a peaceful uh, solution because we don't want a violent solution. The sky of this reading, then, is the Emperor. Yeah. We're aiming high. We're trying to get this guy. And I could never believe that this flawed, um, laughable, clownish person uh, would matter so much to me. It's amazing. But yeah, that's what he considers himself. And that's what they're aiming for. They're aiming for him. And in the, uh, the likely outcome of the first part of this is, wow, this is the devil. I mean, look at that card. So this is being chained to some very low energy intention. And that's the likely outcome for the first part of this. Will they get him? So are they going to have to somehow master the worst legal trips tricks available? Scary. So let's look at the self. The self of this question, will they get him ever? And that is the six of pentacles which is hopeful because that's looking back to the way things were at some time in the past. That makes sense. So it's it's in the environment of what? What is that in the environment of? It's in the environment of the four of pentacles really trying to hold on to all the value that you that you found, that you've got. And then the hopes and the fears for that is going to have to be the seven of uh, pentacles again is still wondering is have I done enough? Wow. This is something else. I'm almost uh, reluctant to pull the final card, but uh, the final card for will they get him ever? It's right here. Oh, look at that. That's pretty hopeful. This is uh, the Ten of Cups, which is wishes fulfilled, happy family, everything's rainbows and celebrations. So that's pretty amazing. I hope that's true. So we'll go through these cards. This was pretty, pretty interesting, as a matter of fact. So we start out, uh, and the question is, you know, will they ever get him? Will they get him? And we start out with the uh, Eight of Pentacles, which is really uh, getting things down, uh, just you know, getting things built perfectly. Okay, getting it done just right. Uh, and it was challenged by the Two of Wands, which is, uh, you know, the planning. All the planning is what's so important. The basis of the whole thing gave us the Knight of Pentacles, and if that's the DOJ, I feel pretty good about that. And then the past was then uh, this big uh, Ace of Cups. Uh, we have to remember that we need to do these things with peace in mind, uh, with compassion, with honor. And then, uh, but then the sky, this was the, the highest you could uh, aim for, uh, is, as a matter of fact, the Emperor. And um, who does that make you think of? The uh, likely outcome of that first part was then being chained to uh, the devil, really. So what are we going to have to do to get this done? The, um, the self of that then turned out to be the Six of Cups, which is, you know, is hopeful because it's remembering things were the way we wanted them to be. And uh, it was in the in the environment of really holding on to your worth and getting everything out of it that you could. With the uh, hopes and the fears, uh, the Seven of Pentacles, you know, did I do enough? Is there more I could have done to make this uh, a little better? And then for the final outcome, which is the best one of all, is uh, the Ten of Cups. So a great big celebration, all our trophies, all our wishes come true, uh, uh, rainbows and, and celebrations. So, I hope so. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.